What we're going to do in this short video is recap the equations for calculating the number of stages needed in an absorption or desorption column. Okay, And in this case, we're going to make some key assumptions. The first assumption is that the gas and the liquid are not soluble in each other. And the only component that can dissolve in the liquid or dissolve in the gas is the solute. And that solute is the component that we're trying to either add or remove from a liquid, depending on if we're doing absorption or desorption. So what we can do is we can start off and define a few key terms. So the first term that we can define is this L prime. And this is our solute free liquid flow rate, okay? And the next we can also define is a G prime. And that's our solute free gas flow rate. Now, because we're working on this solute free basis, we also want to have a slightly different basis for our solute instead of mole fractions. So what we can define is X, and if this is for our solute A, and this capital X is the mole ratio of solute in the liquid to solute free liquid. Okay, so for instance, that's our moles of A divided by the moles of the solute free liquid. So that's our one minus the mole fraction of A. Okay, so our mole fraction of A divided by one minus the mole fraction of A. And we can also, again, define something very similar as a capital Y, and that is the mole ratio of the solute in the gas to the solute free gas. So that's the mole fraction of our solute A in the gas phase divided by one minus that mole fraction. So just the moles of our solute free gas. Okay. And now what we can do is use these key variables here to start looking at a mass balance for our column. So first of all, let's take a balance around the top of our column. So we can take, we can do this and take this section here as the top of our column. What we can do is say that what goes in to this control volume at the top of the column is our gas flow rate and our composition on tray N plus our liquid and the composition that essentially enters our column at the top. And then this is balanced with what comes out, which again is our gas flow and the Y on our tray T. And then this is also then the liquid and that composition coming from our tray N plus one. And we can rearrange this expression here for our YN. And we can actually write that YN is the ratio between the liquid to gas flow rate, our x n plus one, plus our y t minus our liquid to gas ratio again, of our x t plus one, okay? And that gives us a balance for the top of our column. We can also look at a balance for the bottom of our column, okay? So that's this section of our column. So if we take the bottom of our column and we can do exactly the same as we did before. So we've got what goes in to our bottom section, which is G prime, the Y fraction entering our column, plus our L prime X N plus one. And that equals what goes out, which is our G prime y n plus our l prime x1 okay now again we can rewrite this in terms of y n so we can write y n equals l over g 
xn plus 1 plus y0 minus l prime over g prime x1. Okay. Now it turns out that the interesting thing about these equations are actually they're the same line. Okay. And they're the same line with the same gradient. Okay. And that gradient is L prime over G prime. And this same line passes through the points X1, Y0. So essentially our composition at the bottom of our column. And also our X, T plus 1, Y, T, which is our composition at the top of our column. Okay. And what we can do is we can see how we can use these this key information here actually when we're designing our column so what we're going to do is we're going to start with scrubbing so scrubbing is absorption and this is where we're taking our solute from our gas phase and we're absorbing it into our liquid phase okay so if we define our x1 and our y0 as the bottom of our column and the x t plus 1 y t as the top of our column okay then because we're absorbing the solute into our liquid phase then we know that x1 must be greater than x t plus 1 okay and of course, we've got to have lots in our gas at the start. So we also know that our y0 must also be greater than our yt because we're taking it out of our gas. OK, so if we've got an equilibrium here and of course, what we've got is we've got our capital X and our capital Y. So we're not working in our mole fractions. We're working in our mole ratios of solute to the solute three. Okay. So in this case, if we want to look at designing our system, then we can plot essentially our composition that we know enters at the top of our column. Okay. So that would be say something here. And that would be our x t plus t plus one and our y t and that would be representing the top of our column and then we can also have the bottom of our column here and that would that would be our x one our y zero and that would be the bottom of our column and then, as we've said, what that is, is they can join together with a straight line of gradient L prime over G prime. And then we can simply do what we would do in the mccabe till method. And start, say, at the top of our distillation column. And then we would step across to our equilibrium then up to our operating line, then across to our equilibrium, and then up to our operating line until we exceeded the composition we wanted. In this case, we have one, two, three stages in our scrubbing system, okay? And we can also have very similar for our stripping. But our stripping in this case is desorption. Okay. And this is where we're taking out some of our solute from the liquid as we move down the column. So our liquid is getting less concentrated as we move down to the column. So in this case, if we again, we've got X1, Y0 to be the bottom and X T plus one, yt to be the top 
So in this case, the liquid is getting less concentrated as we go down the column. So our X1 must be less than our XT plus one. And also because we're adding to the gas, so we've got more at the top of our column, then our, then our Y zero must also be less than our Yt. Okay, and in this case, we're actually below our equilibrium line. So if we were looking at specify our points on here, so we could start with say our x1, y0, which is our bottom. And then we might have the point here, which is our specified xt plus one, yt, which is the top of our column. Okay, and then again, we can join these together with a straight line. Okay, and again, the gradient of that straight line is our L prime over G prime. Okay, and in exactly the same way as we did with our scrubbing, we can start from our X1, Y1, and go to our equilibrium line, then to our operating line, and continue exactly like we do with the McCabe tool style and distillation until we get to a composition that is better than what we require, okay, for our, for our top of our column, okay? And in this case, again, we can count the number of stages. We would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equilibrium stages needed for this stripping operation.